Hey, good morning. Uh, drive in today and wanted to talk about uh, an issue that's popped up a lot over the past few years. So I represent a lot of service providers uh, that are providing a service to another company related to usually data uh, or uh, implementation or some type of a system, uh, usually software-based or something like that, where we're not necessarily uh, creating custom code for a customer. And this is typically done under uh, uh, master service agreement. So that's kind of the key term here is master service agreement with related uh, SOW or a statement of work uh, and uh, a concept called, uh, for lack of, uh, we call it multiple things, but background technology. And where it comes up a lot of times is with a new client comes in and says, hey, we provided or we've been providing uh, services to XYZ big company. Usually it's a big company uh, and the service provider is a small company is a you know, typical scenario, not always, but typical. Uh, and we signed their model agreement, whatever it was, we didn't really review it. And we provide, we've been uh, providing services, everything's been going great, but uh, now we want to go and provide a similar service to someone else. And uh, what are our risks? We looked at this contract and it says that everything we did was owned by uh, this company. So it's a big issue. So what you want to do is walk into these, and this is a very nuanced issue that I'm not going to be able to hit every, uh, every issue in this one minute uh, uh, video here. But you have to be very careful with what is background technology, which is kind of the stuff that I own uh, when I came to the table, and then also just general stuff in the industry and my expertise. And particularly, you want to define out exactly what that is, meaning if I know how to do something, some service or, or uh, uh, some deliverable, uh, and I want to be able to do it for multiple customers, and I don't want to do it for this one big customer and then have that customer claim, well, I own it, so you can't do it for anybody else. So you have to be very careful when you go into these engagements to, to review the uh, master service agreement. Don't just sign blindly sign their model agreement. And let's really define out, okay, here, these are the things I'm going to provide to you customer client in my deliverable and there's some there may be some things in there that I'm licensing to you but it's not exclusive meaning I can use it for others and and I can uh, make some money working for other clients so when you're looking at a master service agreement or a service agreement and a statement of work and a deliverable and and all that really spend some time with it that's what we do at Meyer Gallagher Law we can help you with that